We cannot stand idly by as Meredith oversteps herself at every turn. We shall have a Viscount again, and return sanity to Kirkwall. This course is foolhardy. The Knight Commander will kill us all. Edgar, you do yourself no credit. My father and my grandfather both died defending Kirkwall from aggressors. Meredith is no different. Hawk. Lady Selbrech, you have my sword. I warned you. This attack will cement their conviction. When the time comes, you will have our aid. Take this with our blessings. Everyone, we must go before they send more attackers. So successful with men. You're not that pretty. Cast a wide enough net and you're bound to catch something. <laughs> At least you're willing to admit it. Trust me. I've heard get away from me, you pirate hag, more times than I care to count. Doesn't that bother you? Why should it? They don't know me. I know me. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit.
Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drakestone deposits along the sides. I don't like the looks of this. That's good. This looks like a Drakestone deposit. I need a scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. should be more further in. further in. Should be more further in. That should be enough. anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately.
There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What is it you don't want me to see? You said you believe in me. Again and again you have shown your support for mages. Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and Justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and Justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. But maybe your support of mages ends at talk. It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. You cannot pretend friendship, then stop now. Being a friend doesn't mean I have to agree with your every decision. You cannot care for me and despise what I stand for. I am the cause of mages. There is nothing else inside me. Will you aid us now? Or does your support stop at the Chantry door? That's unfair. I will not be blackmailed into aiding some mad scheme. You're on your own. I have always been on my own. For a time I just forgot. It's our duty to tell the Templars. Then why haven't you done it? I guess I was hoping they'd come to it on their own. And then you wouldn't have to betray Hawk's friends, right? That's not reason enough to allow a Maleficar to walk free. You think the Templars don't know I'm here? They just haven't caught me yet. Which of us should do it? Shall we draw lots? That, uh, you want to turn them in? You work it out with Hawk. Good evening, Comtesse. Oh! The champion of Kirkwall! This is marvelous! You honor this household. I will call for refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. Thank you for your hospitality, Comtesse. I need to speak to you about Emil. Hospitality? This? Oh, it is a disgrace. If you had just sent a message to say you were coming. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulcie! What have you done? 
You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulcie. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling, we have guests. I am your son's best chance for mercy from the Templars. Mercy? They wouldn't really hurt him, would they? Oh, you should have seen his face. It just broke my heart. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in Lowtown taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emile is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. If there is a way to help Emile, I will find it. Thank you, champion. An acquaintance spied Emile in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. The hanged man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulcie. Perhaps you should lie down. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> I don't like the looks of this.
ready to meet my ancestors. You know, if you have time, I could give you a few archery pointers. Excuse me? Sometimes your shots veer a little left. I thought maybe your cocking ring was off. I could take a look if you like. You want to touch Bianca's cocking ring? It was just a thought. Emile Delancey? Wow, are you, are you a mage? Because you just magic my breath away. You need more practice with women. Can I practice on you? <laughs> In private? Somehow I'd imagined it would be more difficult to track down a blood mage. Round of drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know, and you are. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Isn't it more likely to cause a panic and bring the Templars after you? I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six! For twenty years I was locked up. Uh, I never had a real drink or, uh, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well... Not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. I just don't want to die a virgin. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please. Let me have this. Uh, you can take me back in chains after. I'll wait here till you're ready to go back to the circle. Thank you. Well? I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. It's three bits for a mark. What? You think I'm made of coin? at me like that you're in love I am not every time she looks away you stare at Hawk with those sad puppy eyes there are no puppy eyes it's all right you know even you can be happy once in a while it won't kill you but your face might crack if you smile so be careful
I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. I am pleased to have played a part in keeping the city safe. I bid you good day, champion. Bianca. There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? <sighs> there was a girl, and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face, then. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say... What an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait. Weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look... different. Don't we all? I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, 
I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha. Huh. Easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlé isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlé? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Do you really think there's something I can do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose I should get back to the old ball and chain. You know the Queen hates it when you call her that. No, she doesn't. Just because she killed an archdemon, she doesn't scare me. You keep telling yourself that, Your Majesty.